Welcome to Stearmans on Tour, the channel that travels the length and breadth of the country to bring you the best in camper vans and tiny home tours. Let's see what we've got in store for you today. YouTube is Off Grid Nomad UK is the owner of Millie and as you can see she's a bit of a special build so unlike most fans I've actually got a flight of stairs and it's Paul hello how are you welcome to Millie so you know, I think you're better off showing us around than I am just randomly looking through your cupboard so <laughs> do you want to give us the yeah we'll start then we've got basically as you walk in we've got yep. like a, a wardrobe there but that's like the junk ward then we've got all the sort of electrical area under here so under here we've got massive 440 amp hour batteries there's two of them okay, and yeah. a kilowatt of solar so all my sockets all run off big inverters and um, so everything's permanently running I can just use everything like a normal out. What inverters have you got? It's a big 4000 watt, like a German one, I can't remember the name of it now, I got gifted it, which is a bonus, <laughs> oh, uh, from the company who built my truck. So yeah, that's really helps, because I've got coffee machines and stuff like that, washing machine, and so I don't have to mess around with extension leads anymore, I can just plug straight into sockets. So if you spend as much money as a small house with this company, they give you a free <laughs> inverter, that's yeah. nice of isn't it? Yeah, no, they've been brilliant, and um, they've done quite a few other jobs. Uh, so we've got storage under there and the electrics, and then we've got under this one, we have a Propex water heater and a Propex heater as well, which is a the new one, which is gas and electric. All right. So your heater, is yeah, gas heater. And electric. So I can run it if I've got spare energy. I can run it off the electric or off, you know, when you're hooked up as well. And it's the same with the water heater; it's electric or gas. So with all this solar we've got, we try and utilize that mm. as much as possible. So is this. Yeah, this, this, a, this drops yeah, down into a bed. Just converts into another bed. This is six foot by four foot. Loads of storage cupboards. Storage is the key thing with these trucks. And um, obviously, if you're going to be going away a long time, yeah, you know, you need storage. Which originally that was going to be all storage, but it never happened because they needed to get in there for the electrics and this door putting on for all the batteries. They fill up all the back because they are big batteries. Uh, yeah, it got designed. So I'm going to put a mirror there and I'll make the room bigger. Yeah. I mean, some trucks put a, a walkthrough into your cab. It's a lot like of expense one. and it's not necessary. It's, I've got escape hatches on the roof and obviously we've got this window here. Let me just drop that down. But these are called safari windows. So basically... Wow. And out it goes. Do you reckon a lion a jump that, what do you reckon? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's definite lion height there, isn't it? I've noticed that one up there as well. As Liam, I know Liam, oh, yeah. Liam's van life has got one. Is that the, from the same yes. guy? Yeah, we fitted security. We've got CCTV, which is all wireless. So use that on my phone. But yeah, that's more for the dog. And then I have the maxi fan as well, which is programmed to come on at temperature. So if it gets too hot, that'll come on. But it's not been needed yet because I can leave the windows open. No one's going to get in there. So we've got the basic sink. Yeah. And um, oven, full oven, and everything going down. Which is God sent, and we've got a 12 volt fridge. No, God sent, that's the CRX 80, the bigger one. Then we go into the toilet room in there. It's dicky, isn't it? It's an electric flush. Is that for? Oh, so you got a separate, he's getting a bit past yeah. there, separate. Yeah, separate toilet, shower room. I can keep them both separate now. Junk room in there as well, but I've got a wash machine. That just pulls out, I just pull it out, and then it's and use a it, twin yeah. tub shower room. And then it's, yeah, just a shower room. And this doubles up as everything as you. Then we've got a full-size wardrobe, it's right up to the floor, to the bottom. Branded clothing. Oh yeah, <laughs> got uh, lots of that. And the bed, because of the bed, we've got like a massive eight foot wide garage. Yeah. And you can see we've got a door going into there, but the whole bed will lift. And, and then you can walk in there then and sort out anything you need. You've been around the outside of you. Yeah, I've had, a, I've, yeah. I've, had a, I've had a look around the outside. I don't know if I've, have I missed any features. Uh, obviously garage door. 
in here we're having a box bill so my gas barbecue will then slide out on a, like a slider yeah and then we can just sit there and put the other side will have a box and that'll be for like recovery ropes and things like ropes that. I'd like to see a rope pull this, surely well, it's a recovery it's, chain, is it? It's, you can get these rope. 20 ton, um, like, big ropes. Um, on the back we've got, that's for my ladders, just have them fitted. But eventually I'm going to be doing the uh, HGV so I can have the hydraulics on. And then have it so it lifts up and have a motorbike on the back. Uh, I'm only up seven and a half tonnes, so this is why it's all been built super lightweight. Because this is basically plastic. This is aluminium, all this frame. But this, all this is plastic, both sides, inside now. Get it, it'll never get damp. Obviously, toilet door, spare ladder for when we're in car park. It's got all the extra outside lights. We're only 18 watt. And then your roof terrace. Yeah, it's roof terrace. So that's full. Because you've got a gun hatch in there as well. So you can, <laughs> there's, there's a gun. gun. Yeah, it's original um, gun hatch, and I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, we can just see that. You can see the circle through the window. The, the roof rack's got a big plate in it as well. We can remove. Just in case you ever want to put like a brain gun well, on the roof. Yeah, but it turns it into like a, a convertible then. Yeah, we've got the push bars basically for whacking any of branches away. Do you actually get very far off road with it? You can't really in England, really, unfortunately. There's not, much. There's not really, we haven't got like a broad. Anything? No. So I've put my water tanks outside on this, and then I put 50mm insulation by like Celtex, so, and then it's all wrapped in silver foil. It's a thing and a half, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a thing and three quarters, I think. <laughs> We've got Wi-Fi on there, that's running off a, a three modem in the truck. Um, the snorkel fitted on, we've got water containers on there. I tend to use that for the wash machine. So it's 350 litre fresh and then I've got a 100 litre waste. It is an absolute impressive piece of kit. So I'm sure if you see him on your travels, give him a beep, give him a wave and if he's parked up, pop in and say hello.